All right, I'm here, Coach V, along with Coach Sam Whalen, That's right. and we're going to be breaking down the final group of the bracket, which is the uh, Morgan group. Um, yeah, let's start off. We're going to look at uh, the Seattle Sea Turtles. Wow, um, yeah. So what do you think about this team, um, yeah, initially? I love these guys. You know, we got Everett Stanton mm -hmm. coming in as a senior this year. Mm -hmm. um, or or he, he just graduated, actually. Wow, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm very sorry. He's graduated. That mm -hmm. sucks. Because mm -hmm. he was amazing. Yeah, he was a really good player. Wow. He was. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. Did they, like, and the question is, did they film? No, not really. They do have. Wow, you know, I just went in a matter of about eight seconds from really liking this team to really just not liking their chances that much. Yeah. They lost their everything. Yes, I mean, they have Chuck Kaufman. Um, he's he's a great shooting guard, but mm, he's no Everett Stanton. They do have their they do have their big men, Darren Brett, Which, Bronco, and yeah. Stanley Collins, who are good. They are. No, they no are. About they it. are. I agree. Um, they they board with the best of them, but I mean, who's gonna get the buckets? I mm -hmm. don't know. You know, I think uh, Harvey Cobbs could be pretty good. Um, it's hard to say. You he's know, young. he's young. He's young. Um, but you know, I just don't see this team doing no. too well. No. Um, on to the next one. I yeah, we're gonna move next on. One. I can't. I don't even want to say this. It's just blah 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 blah. Hylia. 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 It's like Hylia. Hylia. It's, it's not a fun team to say, I guess. No, not really a fun team to watch either, to be honest. But they do have um some good players. They do return all five starters. You know, um, I really like Pedro Rivas. Um, mm. He's a freshman this year, correct? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, actually, he got him. He's, he's really late, so I keep on getting confused. But yeah. Actually, um, I had it. he was he was actually going to come to my team. I I I remember yeah. about the process and what happened. What happened was when oh, I oh yeah. So he's going to be a, he's a sophomore this year. Yeah. Yes. I'm sorry. What happened yeah. was when I yeah, when I picked good. up Ramon Hewitt. Mm -hmm. um, Pedro fell yeah. too. I like Pedro I a lot. Um, Russell Chambers is a good backup. Um, but you know what? Um, I mean, you look at this team that. They have a good front court. I really love Walter Link, how he can play the small forward position and kind of mix mm -hmm. it up in there with that height. That's they have that 6 11 like, trio. It's just yeah. crazy in there. And they yeah. lost two seniors on the end there. You know? Yeah. yeah. Um, um, so they're going to look good. I Definitely better than Seattle, if I had to guess. Better than Seattle, but not that good. Um, I'm not very impressed with either, either of these teams right now. They got another 6 11 guys. So they have now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 yeah. 11 guys. Hold your horses, though. Ed McLean um, is a great freshman. I've scrimmaged him and seen him play a lot. Mm -hmm. um, heard a lot from my scouts. Um, he can he can bang with the best of them down there. Yeah, he bangs with the bangers. Yeah, he can bang with the bangers down mm -hmm. low. I really like Ed McLean. He's gonna have a bright future in a lot of Yeah, I think the key to this team is uh, points. You know, like uh, you know, they had a good team last year. They they ended up ranked seventy fifth. They're all coming back. Yeah, they're, they're all coming all back. back. And you know what? I wow. think it's going to come down to points and rebounds. And I still think, okay, give them one more year and they should be solid. One more yeah. year and they should be a really just scary team. But, you know, lo losing those, those ter that terrible senior class is encouraging, I'm sure, for the coach. Oh, yeah. It's so nice to get those guys off. All right. Honolulu, one of the most, they they had one of the most interesting freshman classes last year. They got Freddie yeah. Hughes and no one else. Yeah. So... Yeah, you know, I I question, you know, I'm I'm not trying to get at anyone, but I question Buckeye Three's recruiting. I mean, you can't just put everything into one guy and just forget about the rest of the class like that. But look what happened this year, you know. I Let's, mean, did you do that with Dennis Hogan as well? I mean, Dennis Hogan is my top five favorite players in the league. Domingo Berryman's my favorite. I have a man crush on him. Mm, um, yeah, you do. But, you know, Dennis Hogan, I love the way this guy plays. Um, freshman of the year, his freshman season in first team, his freshman season, he just scores at will. Yeah, 25 um, points a game last year. You so know? Yeah, I mean, they're coming off a 13-11 record. The thing is, they're bringing all their guys back. I like you know, that. All their guys back. I and, like that. You know, right now, man, I see this team is really good, especially in this group, you know? Yeah. Like, this is one of the lower groups, but, like, man, this team made the NTT last year. They gave Omaha a run for their money. Uh, yeah. I love the Freddie Hughes, Dennis Hogan. Yeah. Now they got Andre Jew, Claude Lindsay, yeah. Hubie Collins. Add in there, Lewis Winstead. Yeah. And we got a good team. That, the, their junior class right now is so good. They have Andre Zhu, 
Uh, bringing in that student section, the animal house. Yeah. Okay. All dressed up in like different animals. I'm um, just going crazy. Yeah. In Halloween. Um, um. Yeah. So we're gonna move on. Yeah. I just feel bad for this team because they've just been on a steady, steady decline. But um, the seventy six was Philadelphia. Only one good class that I see. I'm sorry. Their sophomore class, their current junior class is extremely solid. Um, but you know. The freshman class, yeah, they pick up some steam, but and Joe Wheatley, yeah, I can see something there, you know. They just gotta prove it to me, Kyle, Coach B. They just gotta prove it to me. And like ever since they, ever since they like fell off the map, once they lost Joel, uh, uh, Joel Ratliff, yeah, things just changed. Yeah, you yeah. know, and the cultures changed. I want Brian two one five to step up this time, you know. Yeah. Like I, that's a challenge. I'm calling you out, you know. Like, you, you, you can like, when you can any any team can ride Joel Ratliff for four years, but you know like what are you gonna do once once the going gets tough? You know you went eleven and thirteen in a mediocre conference four last year. Step it up, okay. I you know Brian, I think you. I'm gonna be the we're playing good cop bad cop right now. I think you're a great coach. Um, I really respect your, your recruiting style and your recruiting class that you just got. Um, so keep it up. Uh, get another class. Um, get another good class. Continue that on. And you'll have a solid team. Give give two or three years. Just a very talented team. So keep it up, man. But whatever you do, just stop guessing, man. You know, when you look at Nelson Guest, guess from, it was a bad yeah. guess when you guessed pick him on your team. Yeah. Stop guessing. That's kind of funny. You know, go after the players you want. You know, I'm losing record is unacceptable. Mm. Moving on. Oh boy. A great team. Um a team that, you know, I've played a lot and they've gotten really good. On the rise. Um and that's on Norfolk. The rise. The first thing I notice is they got Reggie Murphy, you know? Yeah. Th- they lose Juan Goodman, yes. And then they lose you know, Scott Singer and in an A. But you know what? They picked up Reggie Murphy. Questionably one of the best players in yeah. all of all of the League Five freshmen's yeah. class. But they didn't stop there. They got Nick, Nicholas Becerra. And they didn't stop there. And they got Ronaldo Aguilera. Just three great guys. A great class for uh Coach Blue Skies. Yeah. I'm a little worried because I gotta play these guys once in the in the year. You know? I mean, to be honest, the only thing that's stopping this team from winning is their inexperience. Yeah. So I'm not sure if that's gonna get the best of them. Um, but pure talent, these guys are on top in this group. But here's the thing: where do you put your guys? You know, because like you got Alton Sherbert and Adam Duff and and Huxley Joy. Where do you where do you put Patrick Motes? Yeah, you, do you put him at shooting guard. Patrick Motes. Yeah. No. 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 Reggie Murphy, I'm sorry. Yeah. That's my bad. I, uh, I, I miss, yeah. Reggie Murphy, what Two great freshmen, yeah. No, you put, I don't know, I'd, I'd, I'd put him in the, in the small forward position personally. Where you put Huxley? Um, you know, I'd put him in the backup. I'm not sure their exact ratings. Um, yeah. Blues guys can help me out. I think Huxley's that Reggie been Murphy's, always good, you know. Yeah, yeah, to be but, honest, I'm not sure, but I think that Reggie Murphy's, Reggie Murphy might be better, so I'm not sure. Right now, I see him being the favorite, but I don't know, he's pretty dang good. Yeah. So I see those two teams fighting it out. Yeah. Uh, now we got Yonkers. They're Yonkers. terrible. Um, just has not been great, but they finally made a little ground at least. Yeah. I mean, congratulations, new class, Goosey. Alvin McGill's a great. Congratulations. Alvin McGill's a good player. Yeah, he Roger is. Roger Do- Drottery, uh, Lowell Buchanan, but it's still not that great. Yeah, I mean. Um, build that program up, build that program up, sir. Continue the recruiting. I like your class a lot right now. You have a great foundation. It'll take a while, yeah. Just um, you know, take this inferno in stride. Take it as a learning experience, um, and that's I mean that's all. Yeah, I don't think, I mean, just a little word of advice. You know, like five ten guys are okay, but you know, five nine guys might want to start getting a little higher in height. You know, I mean, Lowell I mean, Buchanan. He's he's one of those lo- those kids who just comes out of high school. One of those guys who can just do do so much with his little with his with his small height. Um, so unexpected. I like Lowell. I mean, he's all right. I um, do. I mean, he had a good free throw percentage, ninety percent in high school, but like, just not not that much. It was too he's impressive. like he's like Paige from Oklahoma State. 
Yeah, I like him. Well, anyway, moving on. We got the last group in the team in the group, and that's Burbank, the Blue Storm. Yeah. Um, great team. Hey. Great program over there. Yeah. Um, playing an ultra tough conference thirty, and uh, you know, Coach Robbins, MD. Yeah. Um, I think Coach was a little bit disappointed in the um, disappointed in his recruiting class. But he did get Denver Eads, you know. Um, yeah. He, he, Denver Eads is one of those guys you got to take, you know. I, I actually don't. I actually was not aware of this at first when I made that previous statement, and I don't understand how Denver Eads is a part of an 87, 130, whatever class. Yeah, he was a great pick. I do not the only understand thing is, it. They have that shooting guard. Um, the, their bench is very interesting. I, I'd all. like to see their bench play. Uh, the computer sucks. Yeah, the computer needs to really learn. Um, but yeah, Denver Eads. Wow. I can see I, I can see him really um, transforming his team. The they are definitely one of the top three groups. So what I see is without a doubt, there's three groups that stand out high above the rest. The rest can just they'll three, three teams. Three teams. Yeah. And that's Burbank, that's yeah. Honolulu, and that's Norfolk. Yeah. Burbank's not gonna be able to get it done against those two teams. I'm not I'm sorry, I love Denver, I love the rest of the guys, but I think they're just a notch below right now. That's mm. my opinion. Yeah. That's my opinion. I mean, the thing is, they do lose two seniors. They lost yeah. Mike Lopez, huge recruit, um, and they lost Joe Jamison. Yeah, those are big um, losses. Two really big losses, you know, and that's hard. To, that's hard to lose. I just don't see any senior leadership on this team. I'd eliminate them, too, leaving Norfolk and Honolulu. I'm going to go with Honolulu. I love Dennis Hogan, and I love Freddie Hughes. I'm Andre Jew, Lewis Winstead, Huey yeah. Collins, I can go on. I love all those names. Now, Norfolk, great team, and they've been building, man. They've been building fast, and it didn't stop here, especially when they – it did not stop here, especially when they got Reggie Murphy, one of the best recruits. They're, I feel like these two teams are going to battle to the finish. I'm and, excited. What do they play? Um, they actually they actually don't play. They, are um, you, wow. But they will. They have. They have to. Um, no, um, because this group's bigger. But, oh wow! But you know what? It may have been a mistake because for some reason, St. Cloud is in this tournament. Yeah, hopefully it's not. a mistake. I, I really hope so. Um, I can't guarantee. The problem, we're guessing they're going to play in game three of a uh, regular season, last yeah. game of the Inferno regular season. Yeah, so. I mean that's what that's what we're hoping. Um, but I actually think Hanley is scheduled to play. Uh, yeah. Um, Philadelphia, I mean, which I bring my kids to that game just to show them some good basketball. Yeah, so um, that's exciting. I mean, you know, that's that's how it works sometimes. But uh, I'm I'm really excited for this group. I'm gonna pick Honolulu. Who are you gonna pick? Oh, you know, I love Dennis Nelson. I'm sorry, Dennis Hogan. I'm sorry, buddy. Um, but I'm gonna have to kill with Norfolk here. I just love them too much. They're a great team. I think Reggie Murphy's gonna be one of the standouts in this in his four year career. He's just one of the best players to play. Um, in this decade, mm-hmm. um, I mean, I guess the decade's just beginning. Yeah. Um, but can you believe it's already season seven? I can't believe it. Um, it's exciting stuff. And who's your player? I mean, like I was saying, Reggie Murphy, I think is he's a freshman. Guy. <laughs> and when I say freshman, I mean that in the most respectful way I could use the term. Okay, I'm, I'm going with Dennis Hogan. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, he's just too good. He's He's got yeah. all American written you know, all over him. I just, I personally just got a little bit too excited about Reggie Murphy, and I, you know, I admit my, I admit my fault. He'll be the best freshman in this group. Mm. Um, I think that, and there's some great freshmen, Denver Eads, for example. Yeah. But um, I do agree that Dennis Hogan is just going to be a standout and the best in this group. All right, for uh, Coach B, um, I'm Coach Sam Whalen, and uh, we're taking off. So, thanks for watching.